Hello there, David here and welcome back to my channel for another video on the topic of home automation. In this video, I'm going to go all the way back to the very first device that got me into this hobby in the first place. This is of course the Sonoff Basic. The device that I have is the Sonoff Basic R2. It was sent to me by Sonoff for review, although I already have more than 5 of these devices in my house that I've set up over the past few years. In this video, I'm going to show you how to physically connect the device, how to flash test Moto to it, and how to connect it to Home Assistant. There is a Sonoff Basic R3 out already, however this video focuses on the R2. Let's get into it. I'm going to include the picture of the device specifications on the screen right now. In order to program the Sonoff Basic, we're going to need a programmer chip, which is this item here. I'm going to include a link to the Amazon page down below. Before we connect any high voltage wires, we're going to crack this open and program it with Tasmoda. The easiest way to open that up is to stick a fingernail in here and it just cracks open. So here I have the board here, I'm going to flip it over to the other side, and here are the pins that I'm interested in. We have ground, TX, RX, and 3.3 volts. You'll notice that the programmer chip has a jumper right here, and it's set to 3.3 volts. Make sure it's not set to 5 volts. So if it is set to 5 volts, move it to 3.3 volts. And that's because our Sonoff board operates at 3.3 volts. It may be difficult to see, but the programmer board has RX, TX, VCC, and ground here. And these are the four pins that I have cables connected to. VCC is connected to 3.3 volts because that's where my jumper is set to. What we're going to do when we're programming is we're going to plug this in here and I'm just going to hold it like this. We're going to want to make sure that ground is connected to ground, 3.3 volts is connected to VCC or 3.3 volts, TX which is transmit is to be connected to RX which is receive and RX on here is to be connected to transmit on there. First step for all this is to install drivers for this programmer chip. I'll include a link of this down below. What we're downloading is called a virtual COM port. So I'm going to download the x64 Windows version. I'm then going to plug the mini USB port into the programmer. I see that Windows has detected it. So now in my device manager, I have an unknown device. Right click on it and update the driver. Browse from local storage. I'm going to point it to the extracted downloaded file. This device is now properly installed on my computer. We're going to be using the ESP Easy software to flash Tasmodo onto it. I'll include a link of this down below also. We're going to download the ESP Easy mega zip file. While the ESP Easy mega file is being extracted, we're going to go to the Son of Tasmoda GitHub page. I'll include a link of this also in the description down below. At the very bottom of this page, we're going to click on a file called sonoff.bin. Now that we have our ESP Easy software installed, we have drivers for our programmer chip, and we have the sonoff bin file, we can now proceed to set the sonoff device into programming mode and then program it with Tasmoda. What I'm going to do next is copy and paste my sonoff.bin file into this location, run the flash ESP tool, in the firmware option, you should now see this bin file. Before we click flash, we have to put our Sonoff device into programming mode. And here's how we do that. Since my blue pin is the ground pin, when I connect it, I'm going to connect it this way. What you're going to want to do is push and hold this button here. While holding it, connect this. And hold it. And then let go of the button. The Sonoff should now be in programmer mode. I'm going to proceed to hold it like this and make sure that I don't let it go. Then I'm going to go and click flash. And just like that, flash complete. The TAS motor device should now reboot. I'm going to continue holding it like this so that it continues to receive power. Next, go to your mobile device and look at Wi-Fi networks. As you see, I have a new Wi-Fi network called Sonoff 7860. That is the Tasmoto device creating its own hotspot. What we'll do soon is connect to it, and then we'll be able to have it connect to our Wi-Fi network. 
instead of me holding it like this for the next 10 minutes while I'll set it up, I'm going to disconnect it from power. What we can do now is put our computer away. Now that I'm going to be dealing with high voltage, it's important to put this device back into its housing before you connect any high voltage wires to it. The simplest way to set this up is we're going to get an extension cable that looks something like this. I'm sure this is something that most people have just laying around their house. This is just a simple diagram of how it's going to be connected. The plug goes to the input side and the outlet end goes to the output side. At this point in time, make sure not to plug this in until the very end of this video. If you plug this in now and try to work on the insides, you could get electrocuted. In case you're not sure which side is neutral or hot, here's a diagram. So the bigger prong is the neutral. If I look at the bigger prong here, it's the one that has these ribs on the side. So I know that on both of these cables, the ribbed side is the neutral side. Ribbed is neutral. The plastic covers have these teeth that bite down on the cable, preventing it from going anywhere. Now for the moment of truth. I'm going to plug this into the outlet and hopefully that powers on. And it does. And the Wi-Fi light is blinking, so when I go to my phone, I should see the Wi-Fi network again. So I'm going to connect to it. Next, in order to find out the IP, click on the network. So this IP address is the one that the Sonoff assigned to my phone. What I'm going to connect to is 4.1. At this page here, I'm going to click Scan for Wi-Fi Networks. And here it found Wi-Fi Networks in the area. I'm going to connect to my network. You can assign a custom host name. That's what I'm going to do here. Now the Sonoff device is going to connect to the network that you assigned to it. So I just got disconnected from that network and now my phone connected to my normal Wi-Fi. Next thing to do is to go into your router settings and find a device, in my case, called Christmas Lights. And here in my router settings, I found a device called Christmas Lights, and when I look over, the IP is .72. So now when I navigate to that IP, I see a toggle button, and when I click it, the relay inside the Sonoff switches. So if you wanted, you could leave it just at this, and use this device locally on your own network and turn it on and off. Just as a test, I connected this device to the light that I have in my shop here. We can also use the push button on here to switch it on and off. What we're going to do now is connect this to Home Assistant. In my configuration.yaml file in Home Assistant, I'm going to add the following code. I'm going to call it Wi-Fi plug 6 and in the state and command topic I'm going to put Wi-Fi plug 6 also. I'm going to save the file and then I'm going to reboot Home Assistant. In Home Assistant I'm going to go to figure UI I'm going to add a UI called entities and I'm going to search for my entity called switch.wifi plug 6. So now what we're going to do is configure MQTT on Tasmoda. Go to Configuration, Configure MQTT, and for the host we're going to put in the IP address of our broker. I do have a password set on the broker, so I'm going to put that in here. And for the topic I'm going to call it Wi-Fi Plug 6. So now when I switch the plug in Home Assistant, it should turn on on the Sonoff device. There we go. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and comment any questions you may have. These little devices can be purchased on their website for less than $5. I'm going to include a link down below. You can also buy these on Amazon from Amazon Prime for about $8 a piece. And the markup is of course to them being stored in an Amazon warehouse and sold through Amazon Prime. Thank you very much to Sonoff for sending this device out to me. I really appreciate it. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day.